In this video, I'm going to show you how I attach a trailer restraint system into a three season toy hauler without drilling all the way through the floor. Um, if you like videos like this, please like and subscribe. Give me a So one of the issues of putting a trailer restraint system in a toy hauler three season is that you take the chance of puncturing a tank, you have to draw all the way through, you may have to remove a tank, you may not be able to find the bolts, you have to remove the insulation below it to get to the bolts. So that's not something I wanted to do. So what I ended up doing is I went to Home Depot or Lowe's, they both have them, and I got this Unistrut. And this Unistrut comes pre-cut in two foot lengths, which happens to match perfectly to the plate of the trailer strain. So, in order to attach the plate to the Unistrut, I used 3 8 spring nuts and a one inch by three eighths bolt and that's you can see this you can see here where the bolt goes through and the spring nut is actually folds up underneath and then if you tighten the nut will clip and then it's held through here all right toward to hold the Unistrut to the trailer. I used one inch by 14 metal washers, I think, or metal screws and fender washers to hold it down. I think I could get 14 of them in to hold it each one, and I haven't had any problems holding the motorcycle in here uh, on several trips. One thing to keep in mind is when you put the screws in. To hold the unistrut down, do not place them where your spring nuts will have to go. Uh, there won't be enough room for your spring nut and the bolt to go through if you end up doing that. So, if you like what you're seeing here and you want more videos like this, as I build this toy hauler for track days and motocross, just follow.